but you gotta be there for me too What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back to another Bundesliga Team of the Season player review. And this time we're taking a look at the 91 rated Lars Stindl centre forward for Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Bundesliga, of course. Incredible looking card. And if you do enjoy this player review, as always, smash a big thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here as well. But we're going to kick the review off with the basic information. And for Stindl, he's standing at 5 foot and 11 inches tall. Medium to medium work rates, three star skill moves, and a four star weak foot. Top five in game stats, and his base card, like I've already mentioned, ships as a 91 rated centre forward. Comes with 80 pace, 95 dribbling, 96 shooting, 94 passing, 89 physical, and 82 defending. So, an incredibly, incredibly well rounded card in his top five in games 99 reactions, 99 short passing, 98 shot power, 98 stamina, and 98 volleys as well. Believe it or not, doesn't come with any traits or specialities as a base card at least. And looking at the team that we used to me, you can see it on screen, I actually played the false 9 4 3 3 5 just to use Stindl in that uh, centre forward position, which like I say is where he ships out at. And in the five games played, he came away with seven goals, which isn't bad, but it's not great either. And as we start to roll the clips now of Stindl in action, um, I did quite enjoy this card. I've got to be honest, he's a card that isn't what many people would describe as a, as a meta card this year. He's not particularly quick. He hasn't got the four-star skill moves either, but he's one of those players, as soon as you get him in, in front of goal, he has got a fantastic shot on him, a fantastic finish. And it's just the service that he lacks, really. If you can give him the service, you are in for a good time with this card. Negatives to the card, really. I've already mentioned a couple of them. A lack of pace isn't fantastic, especially in a striker slash centre forward position. Also, the fact that he hasn't got the four star skill moves isn't great. And also, he's the kind of player that I didn't feel like he was really able to make a chance out of nothing. He's relying on the services of others. But he has got fantastic link-up play, which does help curb that a little bit. He's great at receiving the ball in a deep position, playing a little give-and-go, and finding himself in on goal. Other positives include positioning, which kind of links in with that. He's finishing when he gets on in a one-on-one -on -one position. He's fantastic, and also his dribbling is out of this world. I mean, you're seeing on the base card, he's got 95 dri dribbling, and it really does feel that way. Weak foot as well, being four star was fantastic. He's able to bang him in on his right and left foot, which is always a bit of a bonus. And rounding it up, we're going to be giving him, giving him an 8.6 out of 10. A very fun card to use. Currently going on Xbox around 120 to 130k. Like I say, not necessarily a meta player, doesn't have the skill moves, doesn't have the pace. But if you can get this guy in on goal, he's a player that will finish a lot more chances than he ends up missing. But that is going to end for this player. If you did enjoy it, like I said at the start, leave a big thumbs up. I will be back tomorrow with another Bundesliga team of the season player review. So I hope to speak to you all there. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. Need you out.